Hi and welcome to my channel, I'm Pauline and we're going to need every ounce of strength today, but bear with me. I know grammar can be pretty off-putting to a lot of people and by that I mean myself as well. Nevertheless, it plays a pivotal role when learning a new language and for many people this is one of the most complex parts of the German language, namely the German nouns. The German noun has three articles or three genders, die, feminine, der, masculine, and das, neutral, which is equivalent to the English the. The article in front of the noun shows you the gender. In German, the gender of a noun is part of its identity. They go hand in hand. So if you say a word without its gender, unfortunately, you won't be using the noun correctly. So there is really no way around it. You simply have to learn it. And if we would take flatware as an example, you have die Gabel, the fork, der Löffel, the spoon, and das Messer, the knife, which means the fork is feminine, the spoon is masculine, and the knife is neutral. What is the reasoning behind this? I mean, it doesn't really make sense, right? So if you're beating yourself up and worrying, because you cannot find any logical pattern in all of this, Please stop worrying, because there is none. <laughs> Luckily though, there are rules and guidelines that helps you determine the article, so you can remember and learn faster. So let's dive in, but first, some statistics. Approximately 46% of all the German nouns are feminine, weiblich, 34% are masculine, männlich, and 20% are neutral, neutral. So what is a noun? A noun could be people, places, or things. And how is it constructed? Well, you always have the gender, and the noun always has a capital letter in German. As an example, das Substantiv, the noun. And we're gonna talk about three sections. Biological sex, biologisches Geschlecht, meaning, bedeutung, and suffix, suffix, the word ending, which is probably the easiest one for beginners because it's, because it's pretty straightforward and you can memorize it. So when it comes to the different word endings, some of them are more prone to carry the article, some less. The probability differs. Some of them are always like that, some almost always, and some mostly. And when it comes to those three sections, the bottom line is, yes, there are exceptions. So, feminine, femininum, female persons or female occupations, weibliche Personen und weibliche Berufsbezeichnungen. Die Frau, die Apothekerin. The EN at the end indicates that it's a female person. And the same goes for people from certain countries. As an example, die Amerikanerin. In English, you would say, he is a pharmacist, she is a pharmacist. He is American, she is American. But in German, you would say, Er ist Apotheker, sie ist Apothekerin. Er ist Amerikaner, sie ist Amerikanerin. Note the EN at the end signalizes that it's a female person. Flowers and trees, Bäume und Blumen, die Rose, die Tanne. Fruits, Früchte, 
die Banane, die Ananas, Rivers, Flüsse, die Donau, die Elbe, Numbers, Zahlen, die 1, die 15. And as a small tip, for example, if you're sitting in a restaurant and you're checking the menu and you're thinking to yourself, how am I supposed to pronounce that? Maybe you could just say, ich nehme die Nummer 10, you know, or whatever the number is. So let's take a look at feminine word endings. Die Distanz. Die Sprache. Die Existenz, die Bücherei, die Hausfrau, die Schönheit, die Demokratie, die Musik, die Apothekerin, die Position, die Möglichkeit, die Leidenschaft. Die Universität, die Endung, die Natur. So, masculine, masculino. Male persons and male occupations. Männliche Personen und männliche Berufsbezeichnungen. Der Mann, der Apotheker. Seasons, Jahreszeiten, der Sommer. Der Winter, Months, Monate, der Januar, der November. Days of the week, Wochentage, der Montag, der Freitag. Time of the day, Tageszeiten, der Morgen, der Abend. Cardinal points, Himmelsrichtungen. Der Süden, der Norden. Weather conditions, Wettererscheinungen. Der Regen, der Wind. Types of alcohol, liquor. Der Wein, der Gin. Minerals, Mineralien. Der Diamant, der Granit. Car Brands, Automarken, der Audi, der BMW. So, masculine word endings. Der Doktorand, der Praktikant, der Bär, der Ofen, der Patient, der Musiker, der Friseur. Der Teppich, der Honig, der Tourismus, der Polizist, der Künstler, der Schmetterling, der Motor, der Schnaps, der Zirkus. So let's continue with neutral, neutral. As an example, young people und neutrale Personen, das Baby, das Kind. When a verb is acting as a noun, essen, lesen, das essen, das lesen. When a noun has the prefix ge at the beginning, das Gebäude, das Gemüse. Countries and cities, Länder und Städte, das Frankreich, das Berlin, Letters, Buchstaben, das A, das F, Colors, Farben, das Blau, das Rot, Metals, Metall, das Gold, das Silber, Materials, Materialien, das Holz, das Glas. And diminutive in German is formed by adding the word ending chen or line.
By adding shen or line, automatically the word becomes cuter, tinier, and smaller. And would always carry the article das. As an example, der Vogel, das Vöglein, the small little birdie. Die Maus, das Mäuschen. So, neutral word endings. Das Mädchen, das Niveau, das Bett, das Training, das Aquarium, das Vöglein, das Thema. Das Medikament, das Geheimnis, das Foto, das Drittel, das Wachstum, das Datum. Listen, I know it was extremely overwhelming today and you're overloaded with information. Try to learn a new word for each category. You'll get the hang of it. Just give it some time. Übung macht den Meister. Practice makes perfect. And if you are in a situation where you can't remember the gender, just remember what I mentioned in the beginning, the statistics. I wish you all the best. Take care until next time.